Silver says beware. That's nice. We're on our first mission, and apparently we are now lieutenant, lieutenant, whatever she wants to call me. Because we passed the exam. So it was the lieutenant's exam we passed, so how do we come become pa captain? I don't remember doing a second uh, examination in all of this. Maybe we could just get promoted. No idea. Um, but yeah, we're searching for a secret pirate base now, and uh, a pirate who invades capture. Now that would be interesting. If we could capture something, maybe he has something. I don't know. Or do I? Do I remember? Let's see. What is this? This is definitely an active pirate base, wouldn't you say? It's probably Silver's base. Sir, there's a camp on that island. Prepare to go ashore and investigate. I'm taking us in. You know, some would say it's improbable. Some would say these are ruins, but I would agree. Where were we? Sorry, sir. No sign of the pirates. Aww. This camp was abandoned long ago. Really? Who would have Very thought? Well, Mr. Onyx. It Let's looks so inhabited, what but what is that in the distance back there? Uh, that's a storm or something? Changing and uh, that over there, did you see that? And, uh, it looks like a crane. We have to get closer. Speed. Cruising? No, we want full emergency power all the time. Why not go full sail? I don't see there's a... That would be interesting. If I go through like a storm like that, if I go less than full sails, do I take less damage? Because down here in the bottom, this is the damage... Uh, you know, green, yellow, and red. One of them's cannons, probably. One of them sail, and one of them hull. Something like that. Uh, can I click on it? Not really. It doesn't tell us, but if something is damaged, the, the bar goes down, so... Um, that would be interesting. If I go less than full speed, that my sail get less damaged. Wouldn't make sense, but it's an okay. I don't know. Camp ahead! It looks Ooh. inhabited! It does. If you compare it to the other one. And I'm still going, actually. Changing heading There's now. a pirate flag, which is a ah, good sign, I think. Speed, Captain. They're shooting. Let's shoot ah! back. Torpedo Sir, can't reach that, apparently. Yeah, please fire back. Camp. Really? You know... Take us in and return fire. I said that Neutralize flag over there cannon. would be uh, evidence enough. The Jolly Roger. Although that is, isn't that Changing the flag of now. Treasure Planet? Isn't that like Captain Flint's flag or whatever he's called? Is it Captain Flint? Full stop. Captain Flint from somewhere else? Is that the guy from Peter Pan? I don't know. But <laughs> isn't that that flag over there? Where is it? That flag over there, the... The smugglers are surrendering, sir. Treasure Island flag? Well done. Let's dock. We got a few questions for them. Yes, let's question them. I've got a few questions for you. <laughs> You're a little wet behind the ears to be commanding a vessel, ain't you, lad? Old enough to have taken you prisoner. Now tell me nope. what you know about nope. the pirate operating in this area. You'll never catch him, lad. Oh, Captain Grange has got an ace in his pocket that'll keep him well ahead of you Navy boys. We'll just see about that. We now shall. tell me where he is. Immediately. Okay, okay. No need to get tough. I'll tell you. Because it won't so be tough. very good anyway. Look at me. Grange said something about hunting northeast of here. That's all we need to know. Mr. Onyx, let's get back on board and set a course northeast, full speed. Let's do that. Full speed. Oh, I said that already. Let's pass the meteor storm. The engines are at full power, sir. No. Sir, meteoroid shower ahead. Meteoroid. It'll tear shreds if we don't furl them or go around. Them. Oh, so it's actually furl them. Understood. I sir have. They're not furling though. 
There's a bar going down. Okay. Let's zip through. Zoop. Sir, SOS message rocket ahead. Understood. I am bringing us around. Prepare to retrieve it. An SOS message rocket. Oh, they're just sitting there. Look out! Meteor shower! Yeah, we've already passed through the meteor shower. Helmsman, or no, what? Look out! Look out! You're an idiot. Hmm. Vessel spotted, sir. Yes, a fishing boat, probably. It's an SOS from a civilian schooner, the SS Coventry. She's under attack north of here. The timestamp is only 15 minutes old. Maybe we can still get there in time to help. Set in course. I see her already. The arrow is actually not pointing at her, which is kind of disconcerting. She looks heavily damaged, but there's no sign of pirates in visual range. Understood. I'm taking us in, but keep a sharp lookout for the pirates. They could be coming back at any time. Probably not. They have evaded capture for quite some time. That's why we're here, Lieutenant Hawkins. Please turn on your brain. Ahoy, SS Coventry! What happened? Where are the pirates? Thank goodness you're here. No problem. A pirate vessel full of cowards came out of nowhere and hit us hard. Their first volley took out our engines. Disconcerting. They stopped us dead in the Ethereum. It looked like they were gonna board Sounds us awful. when they just turned and left at full speed. Well, if they, they knew. must have seen us coming. But how? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just glad they took off when they did. Cause you didn't come into sight and range for another minute or so. But seeing how you're here and they aren't, we have a scorched engine. I I don't suppose you could give us a quick tow to Norville? She's a small town just south of here. Norville is south, course, sir. Yeah. The Royal Navy is always ready to help. You have the thanks of me and my crew, Captain Hawkins. It's Lieutenant. It's still Lieutenant Hawkins, sir. But you're welcome. We'll be returning to patrol duty now. Uh, gotcha. Uh, but listen here, before you go. Another schooner by the name of the Lady J takes the northern route to present you. You might want to go check on them with that blasted pirate in the area. We shall indeed. We'll keep them safe. I promise. Well, let's check on uh, the Lady J. <sighs> you were just gonna ram into me like that, weren't you? You didn't give up. Damn. About me going this way. I am the Royal Navy, or I am a part of the Royal Navy, so you better watch out. And there's the message rocket! <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> it may look different than the wheeze. Wheeze. Okay, we're about to pick it up. Be prepared for the thump. You were right, sir. The Lady J is being attacked due north of here. Should we go to battle stations? That direction, yes, but we should approach slowly. South was that way, so they north should be some that way. way. Of spotting us beyond visual range. Let's see if we can find a way to sneak up on them. Let's sneak up. I on think them. I see your point, sir. Would that pod of space whales help our situation? Yes, I've always liked the way you think, Mr. Onyx. Set a course to match speed and heading with the whales. With any luck. Whatever trick the pirates are using, they won't be able to sort us out from the pod. Well spotted! Sneaky, Mr. Onyx. So we have to match speed with the whales, which is uh, actually not that easy. It's like matching speed with an NPC in Skyrim. You can run and you're gonna be faster, or you can walk and you're gonna be way slower. Because that's how games work. I mean, here it's actually, you know, that's the challenge, to stay with the whales. So that's, I guess that's actually a mechanic. You don't want the whales to go exactly one speed, because that's just boring. But in Skyrim, that's just stupid. I'm away. Can you not see me? Vessel spotted. Pirate spotted, sir! 
Let's go full speed for them. They can't they run. Are. We're faster. They're going to keep us with the pod until we're as close as possible and then break towards them. Load torpedoes. Jim, Jim, Jim. Torpedoes are loaded and we're going straight for them. We don't care. Look, they're after their little... Oh, they're actually running? No, they're not. Why should they be running? They have more guns than us. But we have torpedoes. Torpedoes do damage. Engines with full emergency power. Stop shooting that ship, Miss. I set in course. Fire! Don't know exactly what that should do. But oh, that was a good shot. Use at cruising speed. Just destroy one of my torpedoes. Slow ahead and holding. Fire! Let's stern camp the shit out of this guy. The hull's been damaged, sir. He's not working too well. As long as my torpedoes work, it don't matter. Full stop, Captain! Fire! How is he still moving? He's got like one engine, no sails. No, that's what kind of bugs me. I wouldn't be able to move in that state. I want the lifeboats. That's it, sir. Do I want to grab them? We've grab beaten them. them. Excellent work, men. We Let's round up longboats and take the pirates into custody. Longboats, now lifeboats. Now we can find out how these pirates outmaneuvered the navy for so long. We will find out, and we will find out <laughs> in the we'll next episode. Today. Onyx and I boarded the pirate vessel just as right Captain now. Grange we'll was about right to throw now. his secret weapon overboard to be lost in the Ethereum forever. The Ethereum. So the flag waves in the Ethereum, not the wind. As near as I can tell, it's some sort of map scanner. With it, the pirate was able to see us coming long before we could see him. That's why the whales work, Mr. Onyx. Good thinking. I was able to contact my old mentor, Dr. Doppler, and he believes the map scanner was built by the same ancient culture that built the technology on Treasure Planet. With his help, I figured out how to link this device to any standard naval navigation station. That's good. Is that the ancient civilization we're going to be fighting in the next uh, game? The pirates have run circles around us for long enough. Now it's our turn. With those strange iron vessels attacking the frontier, we need every advantage we can get. Now if I can only get the Admiralty to assign us to the frontier, we can get in on the fight. So we have our tiny little ship and that's like an awesome device and we're just going to keep it and not tell the Navy because they might take it away and give it to like an actual real ship. But our vessel is way more important. Jim, 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 I don't know. That seems immoral. And so we go to mission number three, and thank you very much for watching. But that will be it for today. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, all the things. Something a bit different. It's just, you know, nice distractions. It's a fun little game to play because I've already played it and it's, it's you know, nostalgia, more or less. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is the average gamer, Mark, signing out. Thank you.